In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing workflow using Enid and, and Google's Nano Banana to take any image and convert it into an ad ready image. So for instance, you can take a soda can and upload it to this workflow and it will convert this to an image ready ad of, for example, a Yeti or a Bigfoot holding this particular soda can. As you can see, the details are absolutely incredible. And thanks to Google's Nano Banana, which is an amazing AI model that captures all of those details and in this video and in this workflow you will see how we can use this no code AI agent workflow for us to completely automate this process the best part of this I'm going to give you this template completely for free so all you have to do is just download this template follow me along and you can build this thing out yourself and as a bonus at the end of the video I'm also going to show you how you can convert and you can expand further on this and generate actual ads video ads something like this so I'm trying this new sliced soda and I really like it. It's only got five grams of sugar plus prebiotics and probiotics. All right, cool. So make sure you stick around till the end because you will learn a lot. And then also I'm going to touch up on a little bit on how you can monetize these as well. All right, without further delay, let's jump right into the video. All right, so if you're new to any, then go ahead and create a free account. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can go ahead and create a free account. Then you'll come right here where you can create a blank workflow. So let me go ahead and show you once you do that, how to bring over this workflow from uh, the free resource, which is basically our free community. So I'm going to put the link in the description. Go ahead and click on this AI workshop live community. It'll bring you right here. Once you join in, you're going to come here to the classroom section. You're going to click on YouTube resources. You're going to scroll down to the bottom and says add ready and click on add ready nano banana workflow. What you're going to do, come to the bottom, click on NNN blueprint. This is going to open up this uh, download link, you're going to click on download. This is going to download the JSON file. Now, for those of you who are new to NADN, just know that JSON file is a file that you can upload into your NADN workflow. So go back to your NADN workflow. You're going to click on these three dots on the top right here. You're going to click from import from file and you're going to now bring over that particular downloaded file, the JSON file that you just downloaded and everything is going to be brought over. You don't have to touch anything else. So as you can see, everything is all good to go here. So all I have to do is just basically bring this over and then we're going to go ahead and walk through um, how this works. Now, by the way, for those of you who are interested in learning more, I have a paid community as well where we'll teach you how to uh, generate income with this Earn with NADN course, of course. And we also have a lot of other YouTube premium YouTube resources like the video that I described earlier, all of the resources, including the blueprint is there. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but I just wanted to let you know in case you're interested in joining, I'm going to put the link in the description for the paid community as well. Anyways. All right. So let's go ahead and start with a quick demo here. So what I'm going to do is once you bring this over, I'm going to click on execute workflow. So once you do that, this is going to open up this form where it's just going to say UGC ad generator. So all you have to do is just click on image description here. And now you can type the description of the image. So now now let's go ahead and type uh, I'm just gonna say a friendly Yeti uh, on a snowboard holds a can of soda right and uh, for the can of soda I mean I already have this file that I've uploaded but let's go ahead and start with the new can of soda I'm just gonna say can of soda right uh, let's go ahead and grab something different this time so that we can see how we can do anything here. So um, I don't want to hold, let's see, pro soda probiotic. Because uh, I want something different. There you go. Okay, let's try. Uh, let's try this one. Okay, so I'm just going to take a screenshot of this. Let me actually move myself out of the way. So let's do this pop culture or yeah pop one let me go back to any then here okay so here we go now I'm just gonna click on choose file here and go back and grab this new uh, screenshot of that blue can there right so I'm gonna click on submit there you go it says form submitted and there you go now the workflow has started so what's gonna happen I've, uh, of course I'm gonna go through each node step by step I'm gonna show you uh, but just quickly what's happening is after the form is submitted, we're going to upload that file to our Google Drive, and then we're going to use OpenAI's describer note to describe the image. We're going to generate a prompt, and then we're going to reach out to Open Router uh, to Google Gemini's image, which is the Nano Banana uh, model, to have that particular description and the image that we uploaded 
uh, generate a new ad ready image. And as you can see, the workflow says executed successfully. So now let's go ahead and grab the last node, click on the last node here, and we can uh, see the file. So if I click on view here, let me bring this over here. There you go. Cool. Right. So let me download this actually so you can see it up close. Download. Go here. Boom. All right, so there you go. Perfect, right? You can see it really does capture all of the details here. So let me make this, I don't know why this showed up here. All right, cool. Uh, get rid of this. There you go. As you can see, I mean, it's pretty incredible. It captured all of the details of that blue soda, right? So if I go on the left hand side here, there you go. It just held the can there and the Yeti is there, right? A friendly Yeti on a snowboard in a mountain. Pretty incredible, right? So you can see, you can play around. I mean, you can create something like this if you want to have it focus on the soda itself. You can work with the prompt and I'm going to show you what to do there. So this is exactly the final image or the final product here. We can play around with the different notes here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the step by step on what's going on. All right. So on the form submission, we're essentially just having two different fields. So we're just adding this image description as a text text and then also the image uh, file type as well, because we want to be able to upload a file, right? So you want to add a form element. So you just click on form element, give it a name. And then from the drop down, you select file instead of text or something like that. So let me get rid of that. So it doesn't add an additional one. All right. So that's basically the form right there. Afterwards, we're going to upload this image into our Google Drive because the goal is to make sure that we have it somewhere uploaded online so that way we can reference that your uh, that image, right? So that's why we're uploading this particular image into our Google Drive. If you don't have an account, click on create new credentials. Pretty simple to add. I've done a bunch of other videos on this. So just go ahead and take a look at that. The file source, uh, the source is going to be file, operation, upload. And then the input data is going to be the name here. I'm just putting image here. Everything else, you're going to leave the same. One important thing is you want to make sure you're uploading this to a folder. So I have this image URL else folder and you want to make sure that it's shared publicly so that way you can have access to this so after it's uploaded as you can see right here it uploads all of that information so the next node is going to be describing that image and the way we're going to do that we're going to use a image analyzer by OpenAI, which is a native node to NADN. so if i just click on add node here uh, and search for OpenAI. you can see OpenAI has a bunch of different actions here so we're clicking on this analyze image node. There you go. So this is what that looks like, right? Because we want to be able to analyze this image. So now inside this image analyzer, obviously click on you have to add your open AI account. We're going to use the chat GPT for or latest because this is the most powerful image analyzer model. Uh, and then on the text prompt, so let me expand this. Feel free to, I mean, you don't, again, you'll have access to this free template, so you don't have to worry. I'm just going to explain this. So I'm just saying to analyze the image and determine the primary depicts of the product, product, product or the character, right? We want the image to be described in the color scheme and all of the details to make sure that when we send that to our next node, which is the prompt generator, it knows exactly what the image looks like, right? So afterwards, as you can see, and the image URL, I'm just grabbing it from my uh, web link right here. So I'm just dragging it right here. And um, the output of this is basically, so let me go to the JSON here. So this is what the output looks like. This is the content, right? So it's basically describing the color code It's describing all of the different details, including the text that's inside that uploaded image. So very simple, but very powerful. So after that description, we're adding an AI agent here. So what this is doing is this is going to, we're telling it that your job is to create an image prompt guided by your system guidelines that we're going to take a look at in a little bit. These are the user's descriptions. So we're getting on form submission, right? We're grabbing that description from our on form right here, which is basically our image description right here. Okay. And then the description of the reference image is going to be from our Google Drive there. So that's all I'm doing. I'm literally just gra grabbing this and bring it over here. So that's going to be our uh, prompt, our user prompt. Now, 
We also need to add a system prompt. So if I expand this, this is basically a add prompt builder. That's what I'm telling it, right? So the purpose is given an image URL or a product and for write one short natural description of an AI image video generator to use in an ad, right? So I'm giving it this realism, so camera cues, and the output, I want it to be just one image prompt. So that's what exactly I'm describing. And then I'm also giving it an example. Uh, again, you'll have access to this prompt. So don't worry about it. All you have to do is just kind of like, if you want to change something, feel free to do that. All right, so afterwards, of course, you want to have an output parser here. So just click on required a specific output format. You're going to click on output parser and you're just going to have a structured output parser would generate from JSON example below. And the reason I'm doing this is just so I can control the output of this uh, uh, AI agent here, right? So you want to auto fix format so that we can use your open AI image chat model here. All right, so, and then afterwards, so this is the important note here. So we're going to use an HTTP request node to reach out to open router. If you don't have an open router account, uh, go ahead and click on openrouter.ai. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm just using them, but feel free to use it, something else if you want to use. So after you sign in, so let me go ahead and sign in here. I already have an account. If you don't, go ahead and create a new account. What you're gonna do is you wanna make sure you have at least like a few credits, just put $5, that's more than enough. And then afterwards, you're going to come click on keys here. You're going to click on create an API key. And then afterwards, you're going to come back here um, and make sure that uh, you are reaching out to this particular URL. Again, you'll have access to this uh, uh, particular JSON file. So everything will be imported over. But I'm just pointing out to the fact that this is an open router um, API endpoint that we're going to reach predefined credentials. So this is where you want to make sure you're adding a credential. The way to do that, you just click on credential, add your API key that you just created, click on save. Very, very simple. We're going to send headers, which is content uh, type slash application dot JSON. And we're going to send the body. This is very, very important. So if I expand on this, you can see exactly what's going on. We're reaching out to Gemini 2.5 flash image preview, which is the name for the Google's nano banana. We are describing a user role and then also uh, the image URL. Now, the user uh, content is going to be the text because this is going to be the text that's coming in from our prompt generator right here. And then the image URL is the URL that we're gra grabbing from our Google Drive there because we want to make sure that we're letting Google know, hey, this is the text, the description of the image, and this is the image that we want you to edit, right? So afterwards, you're gonna leave everything else the same. And uh, this is going to output so if I click on show data, it's going to output a bunch of stuff here, right? So now I want to clean this up a little bit. So the next node is going to be just a edit field. And what this is doing is I'm just grabbing the data from the left-hand side, the base, and then the mean. Now, again, the output of this is just this nice clean three inputs or outputs here. What I'm interested is in this uh, base64 string of this image because I want to take that base64 and convert it to a file. The next node is a convert file node. So what I'm doing is grabbing the base64 here and converting it into file. And this is basically the gibberish uh, representation of that image, which what this node does is just converts it to a nice image. Okay, so that's basically the whole workflow here. Now, obviously, if you're uh, if you want to expand on this and create uh, a video, uh, then the way to do that is to reach out to a third party platform like file file file.ai. So if I go to my paid community here, so on the classroom section, so right here, this I did a separate video on this, so you can check out that as well. But essentially to create the video, so let me download this so you can see it. Import from file. Yeah, this is the UGC ad. So essentially we're uploading the same thing. This time we're reaching out to file.ai instead of open router. And then also for the image generation, we're gonna reach out to VO3 fast to generate the image that you saw earlier. But this, so um, again, I did a separate video on this. So go ahead and check that out as well. All right, so now for, um, if you want to obviously uh, use this once you bring into your workflow. If you're using the cloud account, then you will have free 14-day uh, trial. And then afterwards, I think it's like $24 or something like that amount. But if you want the cheaper option, there's also the Hostinger. Uh, Hostinger is actually the cheapest way to host NADN on a cloud version. I'll put the link in the description. You can take a look at it. So once you click on a link in the description, it will bring you right here where you can 
host in it and, and create unlimited workflows uh, and have the privacy control as well. Click on the choose plan here for those of you who don't have Hostinger installed already. I know a bunch of you are already ho using Hostinger, so but these are for people who are new to Hostinger. You're going to select the periods. Uh, you can do 14 months or, or 12 months or 24 months. Obviously, with the more months you choose, the more longer period, you'll get a bigger discount. And then everything else you're going to leave the same. The ser server location, it's going to automatically select. Make sure you on this operating system, you're clicking on application and you're clicking on any then. Okay. Another important thing is once you come in here, you all can click on have a coupon code. And if you click on coupon code and just type AI workshop and click on apply, this is going to give you actually an additional 10% off because Hostinger is our main channel sponsor. So they have given us a coupon code. So once you add that, and what you're going to do is click on continue here. So this is going to ask you to register for an account or I already have an account. So I'm just going to quickly log in. All right. So once you create your account and log in, it's going to bring you to billing, billing address. Go ahead and fill in your billing address and click on payment and then click on continue. What this is going to do is install that for you. It's going to take a minute and it's going to bring you to the dashboard. All right. So once it gets installed, you'll be brought right here. So this is basically your home page. All you have to do is click on manage here. This is going to open up your dashboard where now you have access to everything within your hostinger. Obviously yours is going to look blank because I already have built a bunch of stuff here. So that's why you're seeing this. Yours is going to look a bit more empty. So the way to use NADN, you're going to click on manage app and this is going to basically open up a separate window. And if this is your first time, it's going to ask you to sign up for an account, but I already have signed. This is already, I'm already signed in. So that's why it's taking me directly to my workflows here. And then now I can create my workflows here, just like I'm using in the cloud version. But obviously this is a lot cheaper. It's like $6 a month instead of the $24 a month. And you can have access to this from anywhere as you see right here. So this I'm on hosting or cloud right here. So very, very simple, very easy. And uh, I highly recommend because I use that myself. All right. So hopefully you found that helpful. Again, all of the resources in the light community for this particular video. And if you're interested on in learning more about how to specifically earn with NADN and AI agents, make sure you check out the community. I have a five week daily course, our daily accountability course, where we show you exactly how to reach out to clients, how to run discovery calls. We run our own AI agency. So we show you exactly all of the methods that we use, including how to price your services and everything else. And of course, at any time, if you feel stuck or if you have any questions, you can post it and ask an assist channel or jump into one of our calls and we can solve all your problems. And of course, we have a bunch of other stuff in the classroom, including all the premium templates uh, like the uh, video one that I showed earlier and then a bunch of other stuff, including a retail AI voice course that we provide certification for. So make sure you check out the community. It's a great space for you to collaborate and meet like-minded individuals. Hopefully I'll see you inside. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe because I've got a lot of great content coming up that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.